No. Nah. We're recording. <clears throat> Alright, Shalom. Shalom. Before we start, we want to give all honors and glories to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rukakadash. Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father. Okay. Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. But his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. We'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Because those are the men who we learned this truth from through the mm -hmm. spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. We are the servants of Yahweh Y, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. I'm your brother Mashiach Razaka. I'm your brother Malak Amawan. I'm your brother Yahweh the Yasharala. And pretty much, this is just a quick lesson before we actually start camp. You know, us through the spirit, we decided to do a little quick a quick hitter. And this lesson is going to be titled as uh, Be Not Carnal. Right. All right. And this is a, a certain reminder over and over again to you, to you brothers out there, you know, you brothers that's new in this truth from Come six on. months. You know, to at least a year, or mm -hmm. even if you're a week in this truth, all the way up to, to a year. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. You know, you as a Hebrew Israelite, a so called Negro, Spank, Native American Indian, all right, you're a true Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible, and you need to be humble in this truth, and you want to be spiritual, all right? You don't want to be carnal. That's one thing that I've learned when I first came into the truth is, is being spiritual like it. You know, you know, brothers always told me, you know, walk in the spirit, you know, when you're teaching, how you present right. yourself, how you carry yourself. You want to be spiritual minded. So, so go ahead, brother. Yeah, I, I actually got a scripture, man. I want to say something to back him up, man. The Bible says also, also, man, um, mm -hmm. as far as like, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't understand something, you always ask the Lord. And when you study these scriptures, make sure you study unto, you study unto Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? So you can make this, make so you can divide this, uh, this word rightfully, right? Righteously, man. This word truth, right? Right? It's like righteousness. Say, say, get deep behind. Say, but uh, yeah, we're gonna talk though. Um, um, James. Uh, I'm gonna start at James one, verse five, mm -hmm. and it says, if any of you lack wisdom, like new for people that's in this truth just beginning, yeah. man, if you lack wisdom, let him ask Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And it says that give, that give it to all men liberally and unbraided not. And it says, and it shall be given unto uh, unto him. Now I'm gonna go down a little more, meaning that man, you know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord for your understanding of these scriptures, man, mm -hmm. because He's the one that's gonna reveal it to you and give it to you. Okay. You don't want to be a brother that's going off mm -hmm. in the truth, going lean into your own understanding and it's truth, because you will be labeled as a bug out, mm -hmm. and you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. You don't want to be a brother out here just saying what you want to say, mm -hmm. because the Lord will, man, He will destroy you. Mm -hmm. I was gonna add it to that. Like, yeah. You know, we we like to ask like you know, when you get to the truth, you ask questions a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but you, even myself, I have to learn to ask the Lord for the for the uh, understanding. Yeah. Sometimes you know, because the, the Lord to give you give you the uh, understanding, and that's mm -hmm. through the Spirit too. Yeah. That's a spiritual thing to think about. Because because uh -huh. wisdom comes from the Lord, yeah. and like He said, He'll give it to you liberally, and He said, "Unbraid or not," it means that He will not change. Yeah. So you can ask the Lord for many times for different things, understanding the Scriptures. He won't change. He will give it to you. But you gotta, but you gotta believe though. And it says right here in six, it says, "But let him ask in faith, right? And what is faith? Faith is what the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things that are not seen, right? It says, not wavering, for he that wavereth is like the like a wave of the sea, driven with with the wind and tossed. So you ever see the sea? It's like this. It's never stable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere. You know, you don't want to be like that. You want to trust the Lord. You gotta have a have faith in the Lord and expect that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. You know, you must believe that he is and a reward to those who diligently seek him. Yeah. You know, Yahweh, Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning is or exist. You know, because you got to believe in him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't believe the Lord without having faith. And here it is um, in 7. It says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So if you doubt in the Lord and not believing that the Lord can get this to you, you know, you won't receive anything because you doubt him. You don't doubt, you don't doubt the power, our ultimate power, supreme being, you know? And it says right here, and I'm going to get to it right here. And it says in eight, because it's a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Not some of his ways, but what? All his ways, man. So, like, man, you don't want to be that guy. Like, oh, Lord, oh, man, I don't, please give me wisdom. I don't know, man, I don't know. That's double-minded, man. You have no faith in, in in the power, and that's being carnal too. And it's being carnal because yeah. you have doubts. That's you, it. You, you as a Hebrew is like a so-called Negro, Spanish, Native American. You can't be having doubts in the truth. That's true. That's one thing that the elders always say. Because mm -hmm. if you are a Jake that has doubts and you're double-minded, it's going to be hard for you to sustain in the truth. Yeah. That'll lead to you falling out. Yeah. Or going to going into some bugged out shit like commit and all these other 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 things. Right. You'll be Buddha. mixing the doctrine. You don't want to be doing that. Nope. You know, I'm speaking for myself first, for, first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, me as well. You know, so you you want to make sure that you know the double-minded demon is is a very 
uh, common demon, common spirit, man. Yeah, man. If you're not prayed up in the faith, yeah, you can you can fall out of the truth. Because like I say, man, like I say, you could you could think you own in the Lord to have you have you going off. Yeah. Because like I say, man, that's that's giving you over to a reprobate reprobated yeah. mind. Yeah. Romans one and um twenty eight. Yeah. Yep. You know, because the Lord, you hear, and then you think you're doing something that's convenient, but you're, you're doing things that are not. Yep. you like, man, you think you own, man, you on fire, man, and you speaking the truth. The Lord, you low key been fired because the Lord has gave, took his spirit away, away from you, man. Yep. And that's that's scary, man, because he can do that to anybody, man. we seen it happen to us all in seven. Mm -hmm. Samuel anointed David, mm -hmm. the spirit left him and went to David, yeah. and the Lord replaced him with a bugged out spirit. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. You got to keep your mind occupied, man. You know, and I'm not saying don't have fun and watch YouTube, you know, don't watch movies and stuff. Yeah. But man, make sure that you also putting time in for the Lord for us, like, get, listening to brothers that, that's bringing out these scriptures, because you want to feed your spirit, man. Nutrition, food, because everything around you is pretty much junk food if it's not these scriptures. You too much, balance. right? And there it is. Yeah, Being balanced, because too yeah. much, too much of anything in this place, this world, will kill you. But the scriptures, yeah. but but this truth, mm -hmm. but the knowledge and the spirit of the Lord teaching you more and more understanding of, of this word, word, and it's going to help you understand what's going on around you. So you won't be destroyed because this you if you were in the truth and you got the knowledge, you will know that the things around you are designed to destroy you on this world. Uh -huh. That's why we saw the treasures for, for heaven yeah. and not here. not here. Because we know that this place is gonna be destroyed. So but yeah, yeah. brothers, go ahead and get back to the carnal yes, thing. Yes, carnal stuff. Yeah. This is Galatians uh, five and sixteen. Uh -huh. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to another. And that word contrary, just for edification, means opposite to. So mm -hmm. if a particular individual is teaching something that's not according to the scripture, that's contrary. Yeah. All right, just for edification. So, you know, especially you got guys, guys saying that um, you can have sex on the Sabbath. That's contrary to the scripture. Going that's on. carnal. That's or, contrary to the scriptures. Or, or you can sodomite your woman. Yep. That's going off That's too. That's going off too. That's uh, contrary to the scriptures. It is. The mark of the beast is is a is a, uh, is, is a bag of weed in here. That's contrary to the scriptures. That's that opposite. Is. You know? Yeah, man. Just giving you brothers examples out there. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, go, uh, go ahead, slide in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, mm -hmm. and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to another, so right. that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Mm -hmm. But if ye be led in the spirit, ye are not under the law. So yeah, it's just basically saying uh, the 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 flesh and the spirit they war against each other, man. Yeah. They they lie opposite from each other. Yeah. So you have to try to stay in the spirit as best you can, man. Because yeah, man. we know we're in these car carnal bodies. Yeah. yeah. And we know we're gonna go off, but we have to try to think on a spiritual uh, uh, mindset all yeah. the time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like you were saying, y'all, well, that's true because that's a uh, you you you. In, in the end of this thing, the main thing and the truth is that you're going through a spiritual battle with yourself. Okay? Yeah. Because your flesh is wanting to do all these other things, but on the other end. You're staying. You're, you're trying your best to stay sustained in this truth, mm -hmm. but you have your flesh want to do all these worldly things on the other end. Mm -hmm. So you're in a spiritual uh, war with yourself because you're fighting against your own crown to receive salvation. But you're dealing with what all these temptations, all yeah. these things. You're dealing with carnality, etc. You know, so yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual war between yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. This is why this is why you got to be humble God. because we all going through the same similar things because yep. we all even we bringing out this truth. The Bible says that our righteousness is as filthy rags, yeah. right. you know, because like I said, we go off in this flesh Absolutely. and like we in a chamber of dark darkness. Yeah. This this flesh is judgment, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because and first of all, this wasn't even supposed to be for us like this, mm -hmm. you know, but our people was going off. You know, and the Lord put put, put curses on us. You know, <coughs> that's, uh, in the way I'm gonna say spanking. He's spanking us. Uh, you know, for going uh, for uh, for our war, you, know, you know, in the past. You know, that's why we need uh, the spiritual bodies, the new yeah. bodies that the yeah. Lord will give us. Because yeah. with the new bodies, then we can keep the law perfectly. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be in our inward parts. Exactly. Without that new body, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna go off. We're yeah, gonna man. be subjected to, to sin. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. And I was gonna say this. Before. Go yeah. Go ahead. And I was gonna say this. Um, it says in the scriptures that the um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, I'm about to get that out too, because that's the spirit. Yeah. Because to add to that too, is that at the same time, um, that kills what we're like. Ark was just bringing out that kills you, Jake's out there that's saying mm -hmm. that's law crazy. Because you got Israelites in this thing when they first come into the truth, the laws, the laws. It's like a big hype to them. Yeah. Like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's a blessing though that we were Israelites. We had to keep the laws, but the laws can't save us. 
No. All right? We were under the old covenant, which was the laws. And what? It, 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 it caused us, to, we fucking broke the old covenant, <laughs> being carnal. Right. Mm-hmm. So now the new covenant, which is going to be established, and no, the new covenant, we're not in the new covenant yet. Because mm-hmm. you got Israelites that teach that we're in the new covenant. We're not in the new covenant right. yet. All right? right? The new covenant is going to be established in the kingdom. All right? Mm-hmm. And just like the Aqua was saying, we're going to have perfect bodies. So the same way we breathing in air and breathing out, we're going to keep the laws like that. We ain't going to be looking in the back of ingredients to see if there's pork in no. it. Or, you ain't going to be doing that. Yeah. We have to do that here, mm-hmm. but you're not going to be doing that when the, when the new covenant is established because we're going to have perfect bodies. We're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. Come. And, you know? and I want to say something too, man. Like I say, man, we don't want the crown here because this uh, is a corruptible crown. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We seek to get the incorruptible crown. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Because just you got a little, you may, you may have, you may own four, four building complexes and you're a multimillionaire, yep. but that's a corruptible crown. Because yep. what does the Bible say? You like, and it says right here, man, you don't, like, basically, you don't want to store up treasure here. Things where people can break in and can be mock eaten, man. Yep. These buildings can fall apart, but we store up our treasures for the heaven, for heaven, man. Uh-huh. Because, man, those were where, where things, where people can't break in or steal or it can be mock eaten, man, uh-huh. or be destroyed. Yep. We want that. You know, cause that and that, also the Bible says, and uh, I believe James uh, one and uh, twelve and one, one and twelve. Uh, quote me wrong. It says basically we, we seeking to get get that crown of life, cause like that true life, like like I say, the true gift is eternal life, because every, everything here is gonna lead you to death, cause the Bible says, and I believe it's Romans six and twenty three, the wages of sin death. is death, but what the gift of Yahweh is what eternal life. We want eternity. So, uh, we want to be at rest in true paradise. This place is wicked. We outside hot, sweating. We trying to keep our camera cool to do to do what we need to do, man. Yeah. Listen, man, we we have no. It's no rest here. Uh, it's polluted. Uh, I got to uh, This is Matthew ten and sixteen. It says, "Behold," and this is what Yahushai said. Verse sixteen. It says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves." And who's this referring to? The prophets. All right, we're in the midst of wolves. All right, we deal with people persecuting us. We deal with people calling us false prophets. Mm. We deal with people saying, "Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all in a cult." You ain't got you know? the spirit. Y'all ain't got that. the spirit. You know, you even that even falls in line with your with your women. Your yeah. women even yeah. downing you in this yeah. too. Yeah. You know, oh, you're not. You guys are not men of the Lord. You're not a prophet. Right. You know, my pastor's a prophet because we got this, we got that. It don't matter about any of that. If they're not teaching the true doctrine according to the scriptures, they're a false prophet. And I want to yep. say something too, man. That's how you know they mm-hmm. prideful as hell. They mm-hmm. prideful. And the Lord, Lord is not dealing with their ass. Nope. First of all, you think you need a building? You need a pan- food pantry? Mm-hmm. You need a suit and tie? A brother that's tall that's that can sing? That's, that's all carnality. That's all. That's all. That's all. Y'all focusing on the outer part, man. Y'all, y- y'all ain't like, because the Lord only deals with the inner part of a man, man. You know? And it's it's just crazy, bro. How y'all think it? Y'all image driven, man. If it looks good, man, it is good. But everything that looks good ain't good. Like my mommy say, everything that glitters ain't gold. Yeah. Y'all got fool's gold because y'all don't even got the truth, yeah. man. We are in the midst of wolves. Right. right. So we're dealing with persecution. Mm-hmm. We're dealing with all these things. But, hey, it's worth it at the end of the day. That's why Yahweh Shai said it again. He said, behold, I send, forth, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. You got these vocab alone. Mm-hmm. You got all these other people against the men. Mm-hmm. It says, but ye therefore... It says, ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Mm-hmm. So while we're out here teaching right now, we're about to upload this video to YouTube. We got people that watch our videos. So what? We're being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Yeah. We're not going out here. You don't see any of us right here with bulletproof vests. No. You know, I don't have no gun on me. You know? Right. We don't have any of those things. All we have is the truth. We have the word. Yeah. We trust in the Lord. We know the Lord is protecting us right now. We have a weapon. It's the sword. Yeah, it's the sword. It's the scriptures. And so we, we mean sword, meaning Bible. You know, we don't We don't need a, a gun, a rifle. Those things is not going to protect us. And plus, that's, those are Esau's blessings. We're going to have something way better than a gun, man. Spiritual power. If you had a faith. And like I was saying, and like, and like you Jake's out here saying, I'm about to get Gunned up, zooted, booted up, ready for war. Y'all don't trust the Yahweh nope. Shem Y'all trusting trust y'all, y'all trusting y'all devices, and the Bible says that y'all gonna eat of y'all fruit too. Yep, and you're gonna be destroyed. Yep, the Lord gonna yep. have, have a, a dude that's quicker than you with the, at the draw and kill your ass. Mm-hmm. Just because you, just because you've been warned, and we trying to tell you trust in the Lord. No, man, I'm gonna need to give me a gun. Yep. All right, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, man. Uh, we don't need to wound you guys right. with a gun or a weapon. No, no. we can wound you guys with, through the through the. Through through this, through this with the spirit, because yeah. we spirit men, we spirit men out here, man. Yeah. And like this word is spiritual. Uh-huh. So if it, if if it cuts you, man, hey, like you know what, man, it did it got me. But I know that I needed the, the Lord getting my attention. 
You can't be prideful, like, man, get y'all, man, whatever. Uh, but look, and, and, hey, you done. Because you don't believe in the word. you damned already, as the scripture say. Uh, yeah, kind of. So we're going to hit there with that. We want to give all praises and glories to you. Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elders of the policy, Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations, soul for leg. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth his word in truth and sincerity. With a service of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. I'm your brother, Mashiach Arazaka. I'm your brother, Balak Amawai. I'm your brother, Yahweh, Yasharala. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. We're about to start camp in a little bit. So with that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom. Oh, yes, I'm going to be right on that shit.